I'm here with Elliot at one of our bi-weekly Beast of the Bay meetups. Um, he's going to tell us what he's playing today, and I'll just let him take it from here. All right. Well, I'm playing a... My theory with this deck was I wanted to play Bug because this is my favorite color combination, and it's really bad uh, okay. most of the time. Like, there's no competitive Bug deck, so I was sure. like, what can you do to make a competitive black, green, blue deck? Yeah. And I think the answer is play all the hate cards and play power blue cards and then do something silly okay. uh, and see if it works. And like sometimes it does. I don't know. This I played this like the last couple times and it does okay. I would say like more than 50-50. Okay. Um, so I'm playing a Fallen Angel deck. Okay. You can take a look. Sure. Uh, Fallen Angel is sort of the, the core of the deck. Um, the main kind of synergy going on, I guess, is that I'm playing eight mana dorks I see. with the Fallen Angels. Sure. So we can sack these guys for the Fallen Angel and make it really big. Makes sense. I'm also playing a couple Berserks to really go over the top with that uh, for kind of a combo finish. And one Living Plane, this is sort of cute, but also it's really good with Fallen Angel. Yeah, yeah. That's uh, because sweet. actually I had one kill today where I had Fallen Angel down, opponent was at like 12 or 15 or something. I dropped Living Plane and you know had four lands or whatever, and that yeah. was it. It's like uh, kind of like ATOG, but like yeah, it has, it way has more kind damage. Of a yeah, little aspect of ATOG, except it's five to cast instead of two to cast. So yeah. you know, it's not. Well, you generally have way more lands in your deck than you ever will artifacts, right? Indeed. In Indeed. general. So. Um, but you know, you can you can get the Fallen Angel out quicker because you got all the mana dorks. I'm playing Dark Ritual, uh, three yeah. rituals, and since I'm playing the rituals, you gotta play that Night Specter, obviously. Yeah, yeah. So obviously we have a kind of a discard, you know, theme as well, because uh, you don't want to get blown out by Source Flashers, obviously. Yeah. So you kind of want to strip those out of their hand before they can. Yeah, so really... you've got the the hymns and yeah. the Specters. So you notice actually this is an Atlantic legal deck. Okay. I'm playing one strip mine, but I am playing him to Torak. So, all right. I, I, straddling. I, I hear that's a, a controversial format. I, I don't see what's controversial about it. I, I have played this with two strip mines, oh. just to be EC, oh, you okay, know, appropriate. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Um, I actually think it's better with one strip mine. Okay. Whatever. Uh, we are playing some hate cards in the main deck, which is kind of a thing I like. I got from Brian Manalakis. We're uh, we're playing an energy flux and a city in a bottle in the main deck. Sounds good. It's a great tutor target. You can always uh, kill Juzum, kill, you know. Yeah. Obviously, one thing this deck is very weak to is Triskelion. And I got super blown out earlier by a Triskelion copy artifact when I had like three Elves of Deep Shadow <laughs> and a Hippie in play earlier. So that was pretty sad. Energy Flux doesn't really answer that, but at least you can like make them sad yeah. about having cast their Icy Manipulator or whatever. Right, right. Um, let's see, what else? I don't know, I mean, Mistress Factory also works well with the Fallen Angel. Yeah, sure. So like, you know, and if they get the Abyss out against you, you still have something to do, because you got the Mistress Factory. Sure. But you can also threaten the sack of the Fallen Angel, so. Yeah. And anyway, I mean, this deck is, like, obviously not tier one, but I feel like it's, it's a solid tier two. There's a lot of synergy going on there. Two and a half, whatever, something like that. Sure. Um, it can get it done. Obviously, you got power cards, so. Yeah. You can always get a little lucky. And then in the sideboard, we got Gloom, which is obviously great because fuck white sure. with this deck. You don't want to see Disenchant, you don't want to see Sword Spot Shares. Yeah. Uh, we got some Artifact Hate, some Energy Fluxes, some uh, Scavenging the Folk. Yeah, we got a couple Terrors. I mean, Sarah Angel is a big problem for this deck. Sure. And also, uh, Sarah Nuba Freeze is a big problem because we got three threes and two twos. Right, right. right. Yeah. So that's why I'm playing one main deck Terror. Okay. And I got two more Terrors in the yeah. board. Um, the card's okay. And like, again, it's a control deck. Chains is cute. There's no card draw in this whole deck other than Ancestral and Time Twister, so sure. I don't mind putting Chains out there. Sure. Uh, and a couple more bottles. And Blood Moon can be a problem. I did get Blood Moon today as well. Uh, I've only got three basics in here, so... Yeah, I mean, you do want an answer to that, but there's a lot of mana dorks, so like maybe yeah, you get out of it. Yeah, I was gonna say like you have, you have actually a fair number of ways to kind of get yourself out of that. Yeah. yeah, you know, if you find one of your like handful of green sources to get yeah, these yeah, guys on the table, then you but. tranquility or you. Yeah, yeah, I see. I see. So that's that's pretty much it, you know, Fallen Angel. Uh, I don't understand why she has flying, given that she literally her wings were cut off and she has like a wound. That's a great point. In place of wings, but luckily she flies. You should uh, ask Anson Maddox that. Yeah. 
You know, you got that, and then you got like Whippoorwill, yeah. which is literally a bird, no fly. No fly. So, like, yeah. Who knows? Yeah. All right, well, uh, we can close this out, I guess. Uh, sure. Do you have any words of wisdom for our, you know, meager viewer comments? Um, I don't know. I mean, if you can block a Sari Angel, no. Here's my words of wisdom. Okay. Attack with Fallen Angel into an untapped Sari Angel. As long as you have like a Birds of Paradise in play, they're not going to block that because they don't want to lose their Sarah. But then you get in for three, then they come back for four, then you get in for three, then they come back for four, and then like a couple turns later, you come in and you like sack all your shit, and then they're dead. Then they're that, dead. Works. that works. You're only short one on that on that clock, and then you can come back with like a big turn. It works. Okay. It's possible. Okay. I'm just saying it's possible. Uh, it's possible. I want you to know that. <laughs> we 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 believe you. All right. All right.